I agree with Charles. There's a time and place for all of that. It's a 48-minute game. At some point in time, if you really want to get someone back, you can get them. You don't do it when a guy has you isolated at the top and he's making a move to the hole and then you close line them. 48-minute game. If you want to get somebody, you're going to get somebody. I'd tie your shoe and get ready for the rebound. Kwame with a nice offensive rebound. Rashid hits him on the wrist area, picks up the foul, so Kwame to shoot two. Kwame was sensational last night on the offensive glass. And he worked his tail off at both ends of the floor, but Kwame off the bench last night had eight boards, seven points, and four of the eight boards at the offensive end. That's always a plus. Anytime you can get second chance opportunities, and the only way you can get that is to get an offensive rebound. Dry spell for the Lakers continues. They've missed their last five from the field. Kwame make it a two point game. Rashid Wallace will come up with it. Scola. Continuity, Wallace. And a technical foul on Rashid Wallace. And it's a little shove after the whistle. Yeah, hammering Scola. So Wallace picks up a personal and a technical. Yeah, the folly by the Knicks now. You heard the whistle in the slap by Wallace. Overzealous sending Roger to the line. Wallace. Wallace still arguing with John Goble. And this is where he's gotten himself in trouble. Once he gets a technical, he frequently or certainly earlier in his career would continue and get that second one. And then he loses focus and starts doing bad habits on the floor. Dragic misses the technical. And a technical foul on Rasheed Wallace. He's gone. Now uh, Wallace picks up two quick technicals. And you called it, Mike. Uh, yeah, that's it's been the you know, thing that plagued him through his career. And as we've said all along, it's overshadowed a guy who's a terrific basketball player, a great teammate. We've seen that up hand firsthand, you know, game in and game out in practice. Well, he is He's lost his temper. The NBA's all-time leader in that department. And on a day like this, it hurts your team. Marcus Camby's not available. So you need some size, and now they're without Camby and without Rasheed Wallace. What a Ball don't lie. That's what he always yelled. Now, I don't know why he received a second technical for that. That's that's kind of the free. Nice thing going and keep it going. Great force to pass underneath the chasm. And he's able to get a foul call. Wait, wait. In that position, Mike, where he, I thought he probably should have shot the ball. And it makes a tough pass underneath. Fortunately, they get the foul call. Very close. Another miss at the line for Red. Bogut goes down and another whistle. This is on Rashid. Well, you know, even though they're going both ways, this kind of touch foul officiating is going to hurt the Pistons more than Milwaukee. You know, hard to argue that call, though, George. Because that, was a, that, that was a legit call. He clamped down right there, grabbed them. There's no question about it. Rashid. It's an old ploy. If you get away with it, it's great. But if you get caught, it's really hard to argue. And he's, I think he's more or less just talking to him versus arguing. Hogan missed the first free throw. Norman Street just set the ball down live. You know, those, those type of rebounds are difficult to begin with. That came off the rim very, very hard. It goes over your head. And I don't even think the fact that he walks out, he could have gotten that one. So three and a half to play. Austin Rivers, oh, good hesitation. Good hesitation. Yes. Oh, Got to get it. He'll go to the line to shoot too, but man, the, the hesitation move, and you like Freeze it too. Freeze him. Freeze him. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's good stuff right there. I like that. Just finish that in the basket. Wallace gets the foul. You could have given it to Wallace or Kid on the reach. And free throws now for Austin Rivers. 
to get between your ears? I mean, as a shooter, does it just just play on your mind that much when you see a guy like Austin hit a three and then go to the line? Yeah, no, I, I you know, it, it <laughs> sometimes it just it doesn't make sense. You see really good shooters who aren't good free throw shooters. Um, but is it all about being stationary? Well, you know, it's it's about getting a rhythm, a routine. And doing that over and over and over, and then just being comfortable at the free throw line. Much legs, and certainly uh, <laughs> as your boy, nothing, no <laughs> laughing matter. Your boy. On the Detroit, on the Detroit side, no laughing matter. But we do have to take a look at that clip again. Rashid throwing his jersey. Here's this guy minding his own business, uh, walking in the hall. Lights and, out, and all the sudden, lights out. Who's that? Who is that? Like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> out. Got a nice suit on. Sweaty, get on nice and television. Sweaty, and that thing sweaty and get on nice and television. 40, 45 pounds of sweat in it, oh. right in the mug. Sweaty you got to get on TV. Time out, LA. Whack, get out. Get away from me, Steve. Get away from me, Steve. From me, Steve. He didn't say a word. Technical foul, Wallace. He's gone. No, not right. I asked him three times to stop, but there he is. He's trying to intimidate me. I'm done. He's gone. I asked him. I told him. I have already told Mike twice before to have him stop staring to try to intimidate me. He did it again. He's gone. Whack! Get out!